Hey guys, it's Rebecca Overstadt. And the other day when I recorded my unboxing video for my ColourPop uh, order, my very first ColourPop order, I did compare the glass bowl shade from ColourPop to the one from the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. They are very, very similar shades in my opinion. So I said in that video that I would be doing a battle of, and so that's what this video is. Going to be doing basically the same look on either eye and then i'm going to use one shadow on one eye and one shadow on the other and i'm going to let them duke it out and see which one works better or which one performs better or which one i like better or vice versa those kinds of things so um, i'm going to be using since the glass bowl shade is in my like single uh, palette thing here i've got a bunch of neutral shades in the center i'm going to go ahead and be i'm going to use this to do my eye look um, so I have a mirror, I mean, I've got a mirror behind the camera, but um, I'm gonna be facing this direction. I already have my base done. I'm wearing DTLA, which is a ColourPop liner on my upper and bottom um, waterline rim. I don't have mascara on, uh, but I have blush, bronzer, highlight, lip gloss, eyebrows done, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And if you are interested in this, I will leave a card up here in the little circle, there's like an eye, click that. It'll have a poll up there on whether you like the Pisces shade more or the glass bowl shade from ColourPop. Um, I will give you like an option for one or the other, or I'll put both as another option. So, um, or if, I mean, if you can't tell the difference because I know I couldn't, uh, <laughs> then you're not, you're not alone because I honestly thought it was um, swatched out. I thought it was the same shade. And I'm going to be using the same wet and wild brush that's a flat synthetic brush. It is wet uh, to apply the shadow. And then I'll be using my little J-Cat brush cleaner to take product off in between the two shades. So that way it's applied with the same brush. It's they're both will go on wet, that kind of thing. So just wanted to get all the bases out of, uh, out of the way. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and get you guys zoomed in and then we will get started. I figured I would go ahead and do like the rest of my like base makeup and stuff first. So that way we're just going to focus on the eye makeup. And I just realized I literally only pulled two brushes to do this look. I've got the one in my hand and then the one that I pulled for the shadow comparison. I'm not really with it today. I just this morning edited the ColourPop uh, swatch video. And then the makeup look using the ColourPop items that I recorded the same day that I did the unboxing, that will actually go up Friday. I think this is Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. It's, it's Thursday. I think it's, it's the 18th, if you're curious. I'm just laying down some colors that I think would be complementary. Something that is more neutral, so that way the glass bowl and the Pisces shade have a chance to like really shine. So are you guys enjoying the series that I do where um, I am comparing things like this, where I'm doing a battle of? because I have a lot of fun figuring out things like this and trying things out. I mean, I really do uh, enjoy doing these. And I don't think a whole lot of people vote on the polls because I check them like about a week after the video goes up. I do check the polls on the videos and I find nobody ever like answers the poll. So I don't know if it's because you guys don't know it's there, even though I, I mentioned it in the video or um, you don't know how to get to that little eye feature. I have an eyelash up onto my eye and that kind of hurt. I'm kind of mixing like a dark brown and a mauve shade for this one that I'm doing right here. I'm using the Itsy Boho shade and then this is Clydesdale. Yeah, I'm using Clydesdale and Boho. And I'm mixing those two together to put it in the outer edge. 
I do two dips into each pan and then I'm like tapping it on my hand. I'm not one of those people that like blows on their brush. I'm also one of those people that has like a protector over my toothbrush in the bathroom because, you know, no matter how careful you are, you know, if you close the lid after you go to the bathroom, before you flush it, that kind of thing, there's still particles that float in the air. And so I, I'm glad that my dentist gives out the little like, the little cap that goes over your toothbrush. Yes, there are holes in it. And um, about once a month, I will take that little holder and I will toss it in the dishwasher. And I've got several of them. So I don't always use the same one, but I, I really find them like handy. Just touch my face with the brush again. Maybe it thought I needed more blush. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. And it is a beautiful shade. So BH is going to be my right eye. And I already have fallout on my nose, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put it right up under the front of my eye as well. And I might as well put some in the inner corner, tie it all together. Got, got it on my schnoz. So there is the Pisces shade. So to show you this, I'm going to swirl my brush in it. And what it does is it like takes off the actual like powder off the brush so that yes, there might be like some color that still shows on the brush. This brush was already like kind of stained. Uh, and then I re-dipped it in the water, water glass that I've got and run it off on the back of my hand. Now the glass bowl shade is a single. And it, to me, looks very similar. So I'm going to hold this and the ColourPop palette. And we're going to go in on this side. whatever reason, I always end up, when I run a brush over my eye, I always end up missing right along my lash line. And I'm going to get up under the front of my eye like I did on the other side. And then I'm going to get the inner corner. And then dust off the fallout that's on my chinaz. And I think I want a little further over on the other eye to color. Well, now that it's on the eye, I can see a difference with how it's pulling in this lighting. If you, if you look, this eye looks a little bit more green and this one looks a little bit more mauve. So there's glass bowl. And then there's the Pisces shade. And yes, I physically picked up the camera to move it just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the mascara in the sink. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on the Thrive Cosmetics. This is like their, their mascara and it does, I need to do a bottle of this against the Falsies mascara because they do 
amazing things to my lashes, both of them. And I think this would be a good contender to put up against that one, either the Falsies or the Falsies Flared Mascara. And I think it would also be good to do a battle of it with, I just got mascara on my eyelid. Um, I think it would be good to use it against the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit as well. And it's about the same price as the Bad Gal Bang. I will do picture outside as well as video. I was going to put liner on. I pulled liner to do like a black line, but I don't think it needs it. Let me move the camera again. So there is glass bowl. And then here is Pisces. And then both of them together. What do you guys think? I mean, they're both beautiful shades. I can see slight differences in them when I look up close. And I mean slight, slight differences. But you guys let me know what you think down below. Um, I really like both of the products. I enjoy using them. Like I said, I will take some pictures um, here in just a second in here, and then I will go outside and take pictures as well. And um, I'll probably record a short clip outside in natural lighting so that you guys can see. I look like thunder, which means I need to hurry. Um, so that you guys can see the shades out in the sun as well to give them a fair shot. But all in all, I think it's beautiful. Um, I actually like how my makeup turned out today. I'm using a blush that's kind of more brown. So it looks like I've got a whole lot of bronzer on, but I don't. Um, but that's okay. Okay, so here I am outside in natural lighting with the glass bowl and Pisces shade. It's fixing a storm bad here. It's, let me do this. There's beautiful blue skies there and beautiful blue skies there, but really kind of dark skies over there. So let me go stand in the direct sunlight. Shading a little bit. Continue in. So this is the ColourPop side and the BH side. I walk back in the shade, scaring the camera. Anyways, so hopefully you guys will like these battle ups. I will insert this in the video that way you can see everything and I'm not wearing any foundation let me sit you down um, for those that know I don't I don't wear foundation um, very rarely do I ever wear foundation so if you look um, I'm pretty much my face is always it's been darker since I used that Peter the Peter Thomas Roth and the Mario Badescu cleansers in the battle of the cleanser series that I did and um, the Mario Badescu products had formaldehyde in it a few other nasty ingredients and it changed the color of my face but you can see like how dark from here up is and how light the rest of me is and my neck and my chest matches so um yeah i don't like the fact that my face even a year later is still darker than the rest of me but anyways i will see you guys later have a great day or night wherever you are bye you know what just for smgs i'm gonna grab my abh highlighter palette and i'm gonna grab this one right here. It's called Helia. So I haven't really used this on my face since I did the swatch video. It has a hint of green in it.
So this is the um, final look for the Battle of the Eyeshadows this time. So we have Glass Bowl and Pisces. Let me know what you guys think. If you like the Battle of series and you want to see me compare the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara to the Falsies, the Falsies Flared, and the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, let me know because I will I will do that because, um, well, that's, you know, three separate videos I'd have to record, but that's fine. That means I could do three different eye looks as well and record those. So, um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the Battle Up series that I do, and if you want me to, like, do this with other products, like, um, I do have the Aha uh -huh Honey palette from ColourPop, but I also did just get in a, a few yellow shades from, like, NYX, and I already had a couple, so if you want to see me compare this to these shades, or this one here to the other BH Zodiac palette that has the yellow, which is the Aries, oh, is it Aries or Gemini? Gemini. Gemini has the yellow shade. So if you want me to compare, um, and I did a swatch comparison video already, so I already know how similar they are. Uh, but if you want to see me do this yellow versus one of these yellows, let me know and I will do that. So I'm Rebecca Reset. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in another video tomorrow. Have a great one.